Welcome to another league video. We're going to start this one off by trying to get to Winterthal to get the hot on the trail relic fragment that gives clue scrolls while doing fire making. Try to get a bunch of hard and medium clue scrolls, get some ranged upgrades from those, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Most likely going to get a lot of total levels in this video, so might as well show it off in the beginning. I am at 956 right now. Oh, there it is. I think this should be the fragment. Hot on the trail. There we go. So that did not take that long and nice to have it before Winter Todd. Also, I'm going to be unlocking Fletching because uh, why not just train that as well at Winter Todd to get some extra levels. 20 Sages Renown is not the biggest deal. And I think I'm going to try to get to like 30 Fletching or something like that before going to uh, get more experience. This is going to be 1000 total level for 25 points. I thought that would be 50 points, but guess not. So I might have forgot that I had to unlock this. I had to do a couple of tasks for it, but it's only 20 renown, so it's not that bad. I'll get it back fast. Well, I did 18 winter tods. I got 57 woodcutting, 56 fletching, and 86 fire making, almost 87. But I got my 30 scroll boxes here. I won't be able to complete all of them, but getting the black dehyde and the magic shortbow and stuff like that should not be that hard. They're pretty common. So I'm going to try to complete as many of these as possible and then uh, see if we can get lucky. Well, also 30 clue scrolls, I can only complete 6, so I might have to go and collect more. I most likely will anyways, so let's see if we can get lucky on these 6 ones. First one is Red Dehyde Body. Oh, Heraldic Shield, that is actually really good. That is one of the requirements for a hard clue scroll, so maybe I can do uh, that in the future. Next one, oh my god, there they are. Bandos Bracers and Black Dehyde Body, exactly what I wanted. And we're getting quite a few tasks here. Let's equip both of those, looking a bit better. The next one, oh, Black Dehyde Chaps and a Rune Axe. That is actually another potential task and a Relic. Which one is this? Clued in. Okay, I already have that, so nothing too great. Oh my god, this is such a nice upgrade. In this last three, I would love to get the uh, Magic Shortbow. So let's hope for it. Ooh, that's the wrong one. Lo Magic Longbow, that's not the one I want. Another Heraldic Shield. Ancient Fall Helm. Decent, I guess. Pretty good Alk. Uh, let's go for the last one. Please, Magic Shortbow. Lag. Oh, that's a lot of rune items, but no Magic Shortbow this time in six hard clues. I guess I'm going to try to get some more and uh, get that Magic Shortbow. Because I did not get the MSB, I went to the Crazy Archaeologist to try to get a rune crossbow, and on the second kill, as you can see in the chat, I did manage to get it. So that's going to be very nice for future bossing. Also, because I do not have a cape, I might as well spend 99k on getting the 99 Hunter cape, because I think it looks very good, and it has some nice defensive stats, so I went ahead and bought that. So yes, it's really nice to have the rune crossbow, but I don't really have any good bolts for it, and I'm not really planning on doing something that really requires a rune crossbow right now, it's just very nice to have. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work really hard on getting more league points, because I haven't really been doing that at all, and I'm at 3.7k, and there are so many easy tasks I can do, and also I have enough points to unlock as a treasure on the ancient spellbook, can get me to 99 magic in no time, getting the runes saved 90% of the time with that relic makes it super easy, as well as the ancient spellbook has like a billion tasks on it. And there we go, that is the Desert Treasure unlocked, and it also gave some Sage's Renown back for Gertrude's Cat, which I had not completed. Just have a look at this, there are more tasks when I get higher level as well on the spellbook, but cast Ice Burst, 50 points, cast Ice Rush, 25 points, cast Padiva Teleport, 50 points. Also want to work on unlocking all the skills left, so I'm going to go with the rune crafting. there is a bunch of rune crafting tasks, and uh, of course everything is more total levels, which is more tasks. I feel like basically every task in the game has been shown by some YouTubers, so I just did a bunch of them, unlocked cooking, and I'm already very close to being able to unlock another skill. My goal will be to unlock all of the skills, and then get 99 magic through bursting or barraging. Also a lot of tasks as I mentioned on the ancient spellbook. The chef's catch and the cooking goes hand in hand. I basically just fish up things and it automatically cooks them, so getting total levels here should be a breeze. Ended up at 61 cooking and coincidentally 61 fishing as well, but now I am doing some more clue scrolls as I said in the beginning of the video, that is what I want to do quite a bit of, and a lot of them require the fairy rings, so I'm just going to unlock the fairy tales part 1, and that should give me access to fairy rings. And also I think Lost City, which uh, I can buy a dragon dagger and get another task done with. So I'm not sure if this is a bug, but uh, the first time I tried to teleport to the Abyssal Sire, it said you cannot do that because you need to have unlocked it. 
But the second time, if you do it again, it kind of just allows you to do it. I'm not sure why, but uh, yeah, I could complete a clue because of that. Open the first one, and we have six overall caskets, but I want rune items and god dehyde, of course, but the rune items are very good because I need money for future construction that I'm going to unlock pretty soon. So let's see if we can get lucky with anything. Second one, that's the magic shortbow. Exactly what I wanted, so happy with that. Not as impactful now. Oh, there it is, armadillo chaps. Perfect. Not as impactful as, of course, I already have the rune crossbow now. But anyways, it's going to be nice to have. Some nice items. Oh, purple sweets is very good. That is a task to eat. And there we have the gothic's dehyde body. Perfect. Is my inventory full now? Almost. Look at this upgrade. I look so good now. Equip a magic shortbow is a task and eat a purple sweet is another task. Oh my god, these clue scrolls are so good. Okay, the last one. Can we get something awesome like god dehyde boots would be insane? And we get just rune items, I guess. But yeah, that was a really good opening. I'm going to go to the Revenant now that I have some extra money. I'm going to take out 100k sacrifice for the cave and hopefully get some nice items and make a lot of money so we don't really have to worry about that. Oh yes, look, this is exactly why I'm doing this. And keep in mind, I have the Alchemaniac fragment as well, which is increasing my Alk value of items of like 30% currently at the rank I have. So yeah, that's worth 30% more. I guess you could say I made my money back. Let's have a look at this. This is all the items I got and I think it's worth 700k in alks and of course with the 30% extra it's going to be like a million so I'm going to be happy with that. That was like 25 minutes of revs. Basically impossible to find a world for this but uh, I might be able to find some place where I can do some bursting but uh, I bought a bunch of runes you can see here. I hope this is going to be enough for at least 94 so I can throw out all the spells and get the points for it. Maybe even 99. This took me like 3 hours I think of AFKing monkeys and I also actually defense casted a bit so I got to 80 defense from I believe 63 in the beginning and I'm 97 hit points as well. So this is going to be 99 magic for I think 125 points. I got a, of course a bunch of points as well for casting like blood barrage, smoke barrage, ice barrage, all those things. So I'm up to 56 renown now so I should be able to unlock construction with a lot of points left over. Revenants are pretty overpowered after that I went back for like 30 minutes and I got 1.3 million cash because I spent most of that on runes that I had. So now let's actually unlock construction with 56 renown and uh, now I have a lot of tasks to do here as well and a lot of total levels to get should be very fast. 50 construction which is basically all I need is to get most of the points out of this skill at least in the early stages because you just have to move house to like different locations so Taverly done. I think Polnevich is another one that should be another task. Yes, 25 points. And I think there is another one for Yanil as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. So that was three tasks by literally just moving my house. Oh, apparently one for Relek as well. So four. Only three skills left to go and let's unlock the most expensive one. Crafting should be a decent amount of tasks for this one as well. I really want to work on unlocking the next relic slot because that gives me three times the rare drop rates which is going to be very nice for getting like an armadillo crossbow and stuff like that in the near future because I do want to get into God Wars kind of soon and also when getting a slayer task you can choose what task to receive. If I do that I can literally just pick bursting or barrage tasks all the time and that should get me to whatever slayer level I need for like Cerberus to get the pigations. Doing the fire cape because it gives a lot of points and also would give me very close to 99 ranged. I'm not going to get it on Jad here, but uh, there is also a task to tank a Jad hit. So I'm going to do that right now. Just run out, take one hit and run. I should not die because I have the absolute unit thing. Oh, not how to retaliate, but that is the task. 50 points. And there it is. That is the kill on Jad for actually, I think, two tasks because that is also an elite task. And I did not get the pet, but uh, we should get some points here equipping this cape. That is 125 points. And actually, I'm not going to do much melee. So I'm just going to hand this in, sacrifice it to unlock the inferno, which is another 125 points. Yes, I want to hand it over. And that is the cape gone for 125 points. And I guess I can just finish off 99 ranged on some of these. And there it is, 99 ranged completed. I should probably get the uh, skill cape for this. I'm not sure if it works like an Avas accumulator if you don't have it, but uh, yeah, nice to have, I guess.
But that right there in the chat says 40 sages renown, which means I can unlock the last two skills, smithing and farming. So every single point I get now in the future will go towards unlocking quests. I think I will work on getting sages renown to unlock Priftinas, as well as sins of the father, because there are so many tasks for that. The knight sword completed for 1 to 54 smithing, actually pretty close to 1.5k total now as well. So I'm going to need Herblore, of course, to make Saradomin Bruce and restores and stuff like that for future at Nex and God Wars Dungeon. And I got myself to 40 Herblore, I might be able to get myself to 41 here. But 40 is actually a massive level because I have the pages from my Temple Spider Grind that actually gives a quest that gives 10,000 experience lamp in any skill above a 40. And uh, that is of course going to be 120k here, so that should boost me a lot. 25 points for even completing that apparently, and here it is. The experience lamp that we can now use on Herblore from 41 all the way to 54. Yeah, that is very nice to have. Oh yeah, now because I have all the skills unlocked, I can start getting these tasks that uh, is about base level. So reach 5 base level, that's going to be for like 10, 20, 30, all these tasks, and they give quite a lot of points. And there we go, that is 1500 total for another 50 points. Now that I have farming unlocked and it is a very low level, I completed tiers of gothics. I don't have many quest points, I only got 55 tiers, but that should be quite a lot of experience anyways. From like 20 to 35, not bad. That is 100 combat, actually only 50 points, but uh, getting these dragon bones, like an inventory of 27 of them, took me like 2 minutes. Because killing the dragons with the relics and 99 range is uh, pretty fast, so good way of getting prayer in the future. It is time to unlock Sins of the Father questline. I have 34 renown, so let's do that. Do we get anything back? Yes, we do. A couple of tasks. Nice. Now we have access to so many different things. We have access to the Sepulcher. We have access to the Day Old Mine Essence. A bunch of things. We have enough renown to unlock Song of the Elves, and I am going to work on unlocking basically all the quests in the game with a future renown, but there it is. And we are very close to the next relic slot. There it is. That is the Crystal Impling that is going to give me the tiers six unlock so now we have three times the drop rate of rare items and i kind of want to do the corrupted gauntlet with that actually so let's go ahead and unlock it it's only 30 points so not that big of a deal there are so many tasks for this that give a lot of points completed the normal one for two tasks 100 points and that is a combat relic divine restoration oh my god nice that is actually the one that i'm probably going to use at next it is uh, the absolute unit set effect as well as it gives you like one prayer point every 15 seconds passively. Let's go and check it out. Here we go. And it goes down to 3.6 seconds on level 3. So very nice at next if you're staying there for a longer time. And that is the Corrupted Gauntlet completed, and I got 250 points for that. It was a pretty fast completion, like 7 minutes or something. And we get some Alkyballs. Nothing too great, but uh, a lot of points. And once again, I have collected enough points to do some nice unlocks. I'm going to actually pick, I think, the current stuff because it's 39 and I get a decent amount back. And that actually unlocks Thralls, which I am very interested in trying out. And you could see there, I still have like 19 Sages of Renown because I got so much back. This clip right here has to be, without a doubt, the weirdest Scorpia kill you have ever seen. I tried the triple times Thrall damage with the Archaeus spellbook and I didn't really know what spell to use meanwhile attacking, so I just used this Undead Grasp spell. I've, li <laughs> I've literally never seen anyone use this, but it wasn't that bad. It was doing pretty good damage and you can see the Thrall is like hitting 6 damage all the time and 9 right there. So it definitely is very good. I can see this being super good at God Wars bosses and any boss really that has very high defense. But uh, yeah, you can see this actually gave me a hard combat achievement as well, which you can see when this is going to die, which is actually a task to get one hard combat task completed. And I also got this fragment, but wasn't too good. But defeat Scorpio was 25 points, one hard combat achievement, another task. But this is where I'm going to end this video. The progress we made in this video was very nice. We got to 8.6k league points. And I think maybe in the next one we might be able to get to the last relic. But that is not really going to be the goal. My goal is going to be to get into God Wars Dungeon. Would love to get some Kriara kills, maybe get the Armadil gear. Maybe do some uh, Saradomin. I guess we'll see what happens, but my total level is also now over 1.6k. 
started the video at like 950 so made a lot of progress here i have been doing a lot of it off video because it's not that interesting to watch i assume but i also want to get grinding on slayer so i'm probably going to do that in the next video as well so anyways i hope you guys did enjoy it leave a like if you did subscribe all the good stuff and i will see you guys in the next one take care